So hi people, this is a tutorial for Godot, so you can make a right, that right cut from the camera. So here in an empty project, we're going to select a 3D scene. Uh, this is not going to be our main level. We'll put this to 3D, yeah, you see. We're going to need uh, the environment, so we need the sun and the environment variable here, so we can see the scene. And also we need a camera 3D, camera 3D, nice. And we put this here. Uh, move this up and rotate this a little bit. Let's have preview. Okay. And also, we're going to put a uh, mesh is just 3D for the floor. We're going to move the specter here. I'm going to plane. Let's put this uh, 20 by 20, like this. Uh, I like the camera. Let's hit the preview. Yeah, that's fine. And um, we're going to put two objects here. They're going to be. A cube, let me put here a cube, 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 where are both mesh. Let's move it like this. Let's see if you can see that from the camera. Yep, that's fine. And let me put another mesh in 3D that's going to be a capsule. Well, let's put a sphere, let's put a sphere. So to get uh, the right cast, we have to hit something so we can put how to put. Um, Collider, so let me rename this sphere. So in the cube, we're going to hit hit hearing mesh and hit uh, create a three mesh static body. Same for the sphere, and we're going to put a right cast 3D from the camera. And from this right cast, we're going to hit these two bodies. So if we click F5, select the scene. Let's save this to level. Right now, we're going to move uh, the mouse, and anything is going to happen, as you can see. Let's create a new script in the camera 3D, so we can use this as a player. Well, the we can use this, so we can generate the logic. And for this to work, we're going to uh, hit con uh, left control in the right cast 3D and drag to the a script so we can get the on ready variable you can also type this but i think it's easier if you left control and drag uh, so you can we can use the right cast 3d then we need a variable for our mouse position that's going to be a vector 2d and here we're going to put the mouse position going to be equals to get viewport dot get mouse position and if we print this if we print this mouse position here we're going to have right uh, below the current mouse position in the viewport okay then we're going to use the right cast 3d and call Target position is going to be equals uh, right cast normal. Sorry, normal. Okay. Uh, project uh, local right normal. If my, I'm not wrong, let me check real here. Yeah, we need to project a local right normal from the camera to the mouse position and multiply this by 100. This is going to be like the length of the right cast. And finally, we're going to put right cast dot 3d dot force update oops okay that force right cast update that's the function so right now uh, we're going to collide uh, with something and then we're going to print if we are colliding so we're going to put a function if right cast dot 3d is colliding we need to print the mouse position and print is colliding. Print colliding. Colliding. Okay, let's play this. And let's hit play. So, for example, uh, the floor doesn't have like a static mesh, so it's not colliding with any anything. But we see if we put the mouse over the cube, it's going to collide with the cube. If we put the mouse over the sphere, it's going to collide with the sphere. But we're going to 
we we want to know the name of the collider. So for example, we want to the, to get the best active body and the parent. So for that, we're going to print the raycast pretty dot get collider dot get parent uh, dot name. If I'm not wrong. Okay, let's see. So right now, if we put the mouse over the cube, it's going to say, oops, I'm sorry, let break cast the collider, get parent, get parent, I'm going to say, get parent. Let's see. And yep, yeah. <laughs> as you can see here, cube, if we put the mouse here, it's going to say cube, that's going to be the parent. And here, it's going to be the sphere, if we put the mouse over the sphere. Um, for example, if you want to call a function from the right cast, we can do that. But first, we're going to put this uh, with an input because uh, we want to do, we don't want this running all the time. So, for example, when we create a new input here, click, oops, sorry, a new action, click, nice. And we're going to a click the left button here and select left mouse button okay and we're going to put a new statement if input is action just press click we're going to call all this here and if we execute this if i put the mouse over the the cube it's not hap it's not uh, colliding with anything, but if what if I hit click, it's going to collide with the object below the mouse. And finally, if we want to interact or call a function from the object below, we can do that uh, making a script in the object, for example, for the cube. For the cube, we're going to create a new script. Uh -huh. We're going to create a new function. If you want to call destroy, wait, destroy cube, like that. And we're going to put, well, we don't call the function q of 3 that you want to destroy this cube. Then we go back to the camera uh, 3D script. And here we're going to call the right cast node 3D, we're going to get the collider. We're going to get the parent, um, because the parent has the script, we're going to call the script there. And then we're going to call the function that's going to be destroy cube. Nice. And let's see if this works. So if I click over the cube, it's going to get destroyed. But if I click over the sphere, it's going to be, well, it's going to <laughs> throw an error. This is because the sphere doesn't have this uh, this function here. So let's put this an if statement. If and let's make this to to work only if the cube is in a well if the body that we hit is in a group. So we go over here to node. Let's create a new node, a new group that's going to be called cube, and if in raycast.3d dot get collider dot get parent oops yeah dot get parent dot get groups I know wrong like this Uh, we have to indent this and before we do that let me comment this so we can check the group before that if we get the we're going to get this and um, here no let's put print get groups let's see if this works okay so if i go to the cube and um, yeah and i hit a <laughs> click over the cube, you're going to get the group that's going to be cube. And then I hit on the other sphere, there's nothing in the group. So yeah, this is going to work. So let me erase this, erase this, and let's try this again. 
okay okay in the cure get destroyed there and I get <laughs> I click over the sphere and uh, nothing is happening before because we have this if statement here so that's all for the tutorial I hope uh, you like it um, thanks for viewing